Good day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we are going to talk about portable cord type stove. Okay, now let me show you. Okay, I'm standing in front of a Chinese store and this is where I'm going to get my awesome braai thing that we're talking about today okay so after this we're gonna have a nice steak braai uh, got a huge piece of steak and some nice spur basting um so we'll do that then um when i went into that china shop um i must say awesome little gadgety things for next to nothing i always kind of lose my mind there anyway so i'm going to put up little solar light things everywhere outside in the trees and everywhere um tomorrow morning my wife and kids will go ahead and decorate the inside of the house i know this might seem a bit early but normally my daughter's birthday is on the 11th of november so as soon as we're done with halloween on the 31st then we start with her birthday. Then as soon as she's done, we start with Christmas. Okay, so that's now. And then, yeah, 31st, my birthday, New Year, then my wife. So it's like a whole festive thing going on. Okay, so let's quickly look at this thing. Okay, this, why did I want this thing? I have one of those bush babies. Um, it's a bigger thing, but I love that thing. Lightweight, wonderful. I'll show that again when we do a video on load shedding essentials. Um, and I have those ones, you've seen it in previous videos, those ones that take the normal round butane, um, propane, whatever, um, canisters, the fat ones. Okay, but I wanted something that's small and that will work with the same canisters that my um, bush baby works with. Because these things are very inexpensive. Um, I think these ones I bought at a special year at a supermarket for like buy four for a hundred rand. Yeah, something ridiculous like that. So these things are extremely inexpensive and they're cool. So I wanted something that will work with this and that will not fall over on me. Okay, we're not going to do boil tests and things today. I'll do that later. Um, yeah, we'll have another video about me cooking something with this thing. Okay, anyway, um, this thing was 130 Rand, okay, at a China shop, but you can get them online. I think Take A Lot will also sell them for less than 130 Rand. Anyway, get it in this little pouch. We have some instructions on things and things. Let's quickly see what this says. Gives us a model number, outdoor camp, butane, propane. Uh, 400 gross weight 400 grams net weight 347 power 2800 watt not sure how you work that out but anyway it's supposedly going to look like this um, solid and durable volume small and easy to carry zip out zip out okay um, the fire is big and powerful calorific efficiency is high Gener General availability is easy to be suitable to the gas jar of all kinds. I don't know what... The, okay. Awesomely translated straight from Chinese. This is Safi portable car type stove. If you just type in portable car type stove, you'll be able to find them. Like I said, I think take a lot. Um, I'm not going to add links and things. Okay, we have this little bag with a little what do you call this closure thingy so this is what you're going to be throwing into your backpack or bag or car or something you can put this in a cubbyhole i don't know if i want to carry gas in the cubbyhole but you can do that i suppose if you really want to but anyway so this is what you're going to carry to make food and why did i want this thing because this thing looked extremely stable thus if i put a pot on here it's not going to fall over on me. So let's quickly see how this works. Okay, we have these little things. Oh, you can take them. Oh, you twist them all the way out until they snap into their little grooves. That's actually quite solid. Oh, and then you can just... Okay, so that's quite solid. Oh, and then we have little feet. Oh, look at this. Also snap into place. 
extremely solid base no wiggling no nothing now which way is open and closed on this thing that's open that's closed now let's take our gas thingy key okay we open it then we what do we do we it's got two little lips but one solid thing so i suppose we hook that one in there from the beginning we turn it in there and then we turn it sideways and that's one solid unit now okay we can't hear any gas or anything so that's fine oh that thing makes sparks so let's see if this works oops that's maybe a bit harsh there we go and there we go so now if you want to put a little kettle or a little pot on here quite solid this is quite fantastic okay so in an upcoming video i will show you how we cook something with this this is quite nice i like this quite a lot okay so there we go what a fantastic little thing and there it's dead again let's turn it on again oh isn't that just super easy and then if we want to take it apart And then we can put back our little cap and we are ready to continue traveling isn't that just marvelous okay so there's my little cart type stove like i said i'll show you look at it it's red it looks like a vintage car or something um yes let's braai okay so we're in spar getting things for a braai we have our briquettes on the fire i didn't throw this thing out very nicely but who cares? Once this is ready, we'll do steak. Okay, I've got a huge piece of ramp. I've got some six gun grill seasoning. And then I've got this stuff. Spur grill basting. So we're going to try this today. Okay, you can see the little things on the fire. It's because I was brushing it with this thing. This is the cheapest brush, well, metal brush that I could find with long, I don't know, wires. Um, and this used to be an uh, actual those things that you clean your grill with that's why that thing is attached to the side and then i gave it a long handle because i'm tired of burning my hands and my stomach so anyway so this thing has been wrapped and we are ready to get some things on here steaks over here i have my cutting board um beautiful piece of rosewood that my brother gave me and this unknown custom knife Okay, it's a wonderful knife, but I suppose if you can skin a buffalo, you can use it to cut the steak. Okay, my big meat is on the fire, and this thing is, ow, this thing is quite big. I don't have anything for size comparison, but it's a huge piece. So, yes, it's on the fire. Fantastic. Okay, first in. Now it's time for some six-gun grill. Okay, six-gun. Ah, fire, fire, flame, flame, fire. Okay, if it's a thick piece, spice it a lot because it's a thick piece. Good. Okay, this stuff. Mm, thick and delicious. And then we use our little, sorry, whatchamacallit, the rabbit, quickly turn it, and then we're done. Let's take this bad boy off the fire and see what it looks like. Donkey! Sorry, I left the other knife. It's a bit thin. Not thin, but it's a bit short. Sorry, my little camera assistant is standing a bit in my way. I can't really get to the stuff. Let me quickly show you. There we go. Perfect. 